Hi there, my name is Dr. Claire Hoskins and I'm a researcher at the University of Strathclyde in Glasgow. Hi, my name is Dr. Manil Chayan. I'm a clinical and academic radiologist based at University College London. The project we're working on is the early identification of tumours by combining MRI with nanotechnology. The project came about at an early detection and innovation workshop, and these events bring together researchers and clinicians from across a broad range of disciplines who may not otherwise meet, um, and they meet to discuss areas of need and new collaborative approaches using a wide variety of expertise to work on a sole mission. Uh, I find the workshop was both intense and amazing at the same time. Um, it was held virtually for the first time this year due to the pandemic, and we had almost like speed dating sessions to meet with different people and understand their expertise. Um, and we wouldn't have met these people otherwise, so it was a really great opportunity for us. So with this project, we aim to bring together three new, really exciting different methods to try and increase our chances of detecting small pancreatic cancers with MRI. The first is using a special kind of dye called nanoparticles, which attaches to really small cancers. The second is a method called super resolution reconstruction, which gives us so much more detail about the pancreas. And the third is a method known as MRI fingerprinting, which gives us lots of information about the pancreas itself. And we think that by bringing these three, two, three methods together, we can get really a lot more information that will increase our chances of picking up these cancers at a much earlier stage. So nanotechnology is just a fancy term that scientists use to label very small particles. And these particles have different properties at their small scale. They have been used clinically for years in different um, ways, but in the context of pancreatic cancer, um, they are used currently as MRI contrast agents. So these dyes that patients are given when they go for an MRI scan. And it, it, in our project, we're gonna utilize similar dyes, but we're gonna ask them to seek out the early stage pancreatic cancer growth. Um, I work as a clinical radiologist, which means I actually look at MRI scans in patients who may have pancreatic cancer. And um, I, I help uh, clinical teams make decisions about how best to treat patients at this stage of their disease. Um, and on the other hand, I also do research. So I do a lot of research in different MRI methods and, met and techniques involving the pancreas. So this project harnesses both of those areas of expertise and brings them together so that I can try and push these skills to really help address this important clinical problem. So I am a chemist who specializes in cancer nanomedicine, and usually I develop nanoparticles to treat cancer once it's detected. But here I'm actually bringing the knowledge I have on nanoparticle fabrication and design to the project and translating that knowledge from therapy to detection to help with this very urgent problem. Um, one of the really exciting things about this project is that it's um, really high risk, but also potentially really high reward. So often as scientists, there are methods or techniques that we have that we want to try or we think about, but we think actually no funder would really think about us pursuing that realistically and give us the kind of support to be able to pursue those kind of ideas. But the methods that we bring together for this project each of them are associated with a lot of risk and they're each very exciting in themselves. And we think that by bringing them together, there's really potential there to make a big clinical impact. This research will make a huge difference to people with pancreatic cancer. So early detection is essential if we ever want to increase that patient survival rate. A lot of work goes into the development of new therapeutic approaches, but at the end of the day, the cancer is difficult to access and difficult to treat. So we need to catch it much earlier on. We hope to help clinicians identify early onset pancreatic cancer to start treatment earlier and increase that patient survival rate. We are delighted to have received funding from Pancreatic Cancer UK, Cancer Research UK and the Engineering Physical Sciences Research Council to make this early diagnosis research project possible.